I was staying in League One in Shrewsbury at home to Morecambe in uh, the FA Cup second round. But it's their league form which has been incredibly impressive this season. A year ago, they were bottom of the table. In came Paul Hurst and this season they've lost just once. Time for a visit from Clem. <laughs> You've not got a bad facility here, have you? It's excellent. Come on then, yeah, show me around your little uh, castle. We do testing every six weeks so that we know where the lads are. The boot room, still clean their own boots. Okay. If the captain can do it. Why do you think there's been such a transformation at the club this season? Yeah, I think since the gap has come in, to be fair. Um, obviously, Good answer. Yeah, yeah. He's came in, he obviously saw what needed to be changed. Um, brought in the right characters as well as um, good footballers and um, we've just gelled since, um, since he's come in to be fair. Tough tackling midfielder in orange boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the prediction table that I found that I wanted to share with the players. We're certainly hoping to prove people wrong. Yeah, but you've um, been living off the mantra all season, haven't you? About, oh, it's just survival. You've got more points after 16 games than you had after 32 last season. 50 points first. Yeah, come on. Yes, no, 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 no. Might be on camera that abs as well. This could be a very special season for you, your staff, and your group of players. I think there's a great feeling, and one of the players mentioned it recently in, in an interview that even if we were a lot lower down the league, there'd be a good feeling around the place. But it does make it that little bit more special. And I think, you know, for the fans especially, it's not been easy for them. Uh, but I think they're in dreamland at the minute. You know, it'd be great if the season finished tomorrow and we, we were promoted, but there's a long way to go. Now, this looks interesting. This is not a territory I'm familiar with. This is uh, Ian. Yeah, hello, Ian. This is, this is our... Uh, Club captain. Let's have a look. Well, I, I, Matt, look. What do you well, I think a peaky blinder <laughs> hairstyle is very topical with a new series coming back this week. I'm not the one to ask for hair oh, advice, yeah, though, Matt, yeah, am I? Yeah. Hey? Uh, you said that, not me. Yeah. I mean, what a transformation of this football club. D do we have to do this while I'm sat in the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think if you'd have said at the start of the season, would we be top in 16 games in? We would have possibly been surprised by that, but... Um, uh, we set high standards here, Gaffer sets high standards and, and uh, long may they be met. What's the feeling in your bones about this season? That we need to get to 50 points. Oh, so it's you know, all of you are just indoctrinated <laughs> with this. Do you think managers like you get enough recognition? I didn't feel like the opportunity would arise to become a manager and I'm kind of proud of the route that I've taken to get to this point. So if you can manage further down, why can't you manage higher up? A lot of my principles, uh, ethos, beliefs would stay the same whether I went back to manage a pub side, whether I was managing the Premier League. But I'd like to think people would give you credit for working your way up. And thankfully at the minute, at least every time I've made that step up, I've managed to, to do a good job and you know I'm hoping that that can continue. Brilliant. Great to see you. Thanks very much. Magnificent handshake, that, isn't it? Um